Luke, you've uh, already run into some some issues this week. Oh yeah, man! I've been getting hit up for some saucy DMs. Ooh, yes. I don't know. Have you? Okay, you're on a fetish website, so you know all about. Yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of experience with being objectified in a way that you couldn't even imagine. You would like if if you're like a like an attractive man or woman, and you post a sexy photo, and people write some horny things. Yeah, that tracks. It's very weird when well, you, you posted a beach pic, and that's how you ended up on there. That's on you. Yeah, well, it yeah, was. It's not. It wasn't supposed to be sexy. It was. Just I, you I with didn't your top know on. how sexy I am to a to a very obscure group of people yeah. who are into incredibly tall men. I didn't realize uh, how sexy my feet were. Oh, until oh no. recently. Yeah. Not actually my feet. So I got a DM. I'm not going to say the account, but uh-huh. it's it's a foot fetish account. I would really recommend not saying the account because I mentioned tallguysfree.com and they have been in my DMs and my Instagram comments ever since. Yeah, right. It's a disaster. Okay. So, but this is just like a a personal foot fetish account. Oh, so right? it's more of an archive for whoever that is. Yeah. How many followers? Uh, no, it's it's personal. 104 followers. It's niche. Still, it's very niche. It's yeah. just a guy. Yeah. Right. Um, pretty simple. Damn. Four words. Very powerful. Yeah. Sell your sell your used socks? Question mark. Used, used. socks. <laughs> oh, for the stench. Now I was like, oh, well, this is peculiar. Yeah. I don't often get used socks. Mm. I've got send feet pics before. I've had that. Just ignored. But that's yeah. a common fetish. Used socks is a little more niche. Yeah, that's that's like a foot fetish, but more nasal. Yeah. And I have a personal rule. I uh, yeah. don't turn down free cash. Okay. Right? Okay. So I reply. Well, I would say it's not exactly free. It sounds like there's going to be a oh, big cost to it, you. It comes at a cost to the soul. Yeah. But the souls of your feet. Yeah. <laughs> Both souls. Yeah. Um, it's pretty much like the death eater of uh, exchanges. Like mm. you send your socks, but then they suck out your soul. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I go, how much for? What's the going rate for you socks? Okay. Pretty good question. What do you think the going rate would be? I think it depends on your profile. I would, th- I, I would think... No, I think it depends on how used the sock is. <laughs> true. Because, you know, you have to... Surely for a good customer service, you need to at least go for a run, you well, know? Like yeah. you don't want it to be like you put the socks on, you take them off and sell, sell them. That's a bit disingenuous. Yeah. It needs to be a light job. I'm still trying to work out if if the stinkier the better. I think so. I'm thinking I'm thinking 150 a pair. Yeah, okay. is what I feel is a, is a fair rate. Oh boy, I'm a lot cheaper than you. Oh no. <laughs> he goes thirty dollars a pair. Thirty dollars. No, don't worry, I wasn't gonna go for thirty. Yeah. No, no way. Thirty-five. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's more my style. Yeah. That was on a that was a Tuesday. Yeah. I, I will admit, I forgot about it over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Had some shows. That went great, by the way. Thanks to everyone. That's who came cheaper out. than your tickets. Yes. That yeah. literally cheaper to a ticket to my. It's gonna be at least double a ticket. No way. So I go. Uh, I ignore it. Then Wednesday I get. Uh, Plus money for express shipping. So he wants some stat. Oh, he needs them now. Well, because they need to they hold need, the stench. If they're in, if they're in transit for too long, they'll just smell like the rest of the van. This person, like, in, what if they, what if they get stuck in a van that has heaps of scented candles in there? You I know? believe I'm sending them to Perth. So they are. Hang on. What did you say? You're sending them to Perth. You're talking like the deal's been done. Oh, bit of a spoiler. <laughs> Hang on, dude, you can't. <laughs> Yuck. Have you sold this man used socks? Dude, you know what they're going to turn into? They're going to be crusty. Yeah. Well, he goes, then I keep ignoring him. I forget. He goes, you're down, sir. And then he goes, please. So there's like four messages in a row here. Oh, he's, he's thirsty. Last night, I'm at the airport with Ruben. We're about to come home. I'm kind of having a laugh, reading him to Ruben. Going, like, I don't know. Like, this seems This weird. is how it starts. Well, how funny would it be for the show yeah. if I sold a man a used pair of socks and the as an- a joke? And the answer was pretty fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> so I then go, the Ruben goes, dude, you should highball him. So I go, $100, question Anything mark. less than 100 and I will be really disappointed in you. Right? And I'm already disappointed in yeah, you. Yeah, of course. I'm disappointed in myself. Um, for a, and he goes for a pair of sweaty socks, crying, laughing emoji. So he, hey, dude, don't. You're the one who wants yeah, them. Don't act like I'm the weird. Like, yeah. oh, mate, that's a bit weird paying a hundred bucks for used socks, but I'll pay thirty. Yeah, that's like going into a fruit store and be like, "How much for bananas?" And they're like, "Oh, this much." You go, "Whoa, for bananas?" It's like, dude, you came into the store. Yeah, 
So he's laughed me out of the room here. So yeah. I go, I can drench him for 150. <laughs> <laughs> now he might think that means something else. Maybe. But either way, they've been used. <laughs> Disgusting. Then, so he's, he's laughed me out of the room for $100. Yeah. Mm. Then he comes back with 70 so that my 100 wasn't that far past I the ballpark. I love the negotiating. Plus express shipping, that's 85 anyway. Dude, if you have a specific fetish, that costs money. Of you course. can't, like if I, if everyone's into titties, so no one's really but paying that, could, that much for titties. Mate, Devlin knows, that costs money. Yeah, you well, know? that's, that, but that's a lap dance, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like titties, if you it, really want to see them and, you, and you're not a weirdo, you can get them for a couple of drinks, yeah. you know? At a nightclub, but if you're into something specific like drenched socks, man, you gotta fork out. It's not thirty bucks. Yep. And uh, I'll be honest, we're pretty bored at the airport. Uh, their flight got delayed by a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I then go, you have yourself a deal, sir. Oh, seventy dollars, <laughs> you cheap whore. <laughs> I know. You I cheap whore. Uh, then he goes, how many days wearing will they take to stink? I, <laughs> how, many, how many days? 70 bucks, you got to wear socks many days in a row. And then I just go, how stanky do you want them? <laughs> Dude. At this point, I am kind of still think it's funny. You're and, sexting with yes. this man. Well, that's what makes it. She's like, at what point is it flirting? So yeah. I've gone to Kmart. <laughs> oh, come on, and I've dude. Bought some socks. Now, I figure like I'll get him some freshies, but yeah. then I'll wear them in. What I are you going to do? Oh, I don't know, just go 70 bucks gets you a few hours, man. That's how you value your time? What do you mean? I'm not busy. Like, I can just wear socks. Like, it's not like I'm... I, I, you, I would be wearing socks anyway. He's, I'm not going out of my way. Guys, if you want sweaty socks Kmart, from me, actually, actually, I'm, I'm putting my price out, out there into the world. A grand. A 70, rack. 70 bucks is only about a song and a half at the strip club. So you, mm. you've... Like, he's got a great deal out of you. Yeah. Yeah. You've yeah. really been taking advantage But I don't, I don't really value of. my sweat too much. Shame on this man taking a, taking advantage of naive sex workers. You're a sex worker now. I know. Congratulations. Thank you. And you know what? It's real work. I, I know. <laughs> Finally, yeah. someone yeah. admits it. No, I've got a... I talked about this on my podcast during the week. I got about 20 DMs yeah. encouraging me, uh, pros and cons lists of why I should do it. Now, obviously... Yeah. <laughs> Hey, this guy might jack it to my socks. Okay. Am hey, I okay with that? Clearly. I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do a good pro and con for you here right now. All right. Pro, $70. Great. Right. Con, free, free money. Everything else. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? We'll be a good night out when I hit the town with the lads. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, next one's on me, boys. They are, well, really? How's mm. your tour going? Yeah, fine. But the sock money's coming in. You'll have to go. Unfortunately, I, you, I'm going to have to limit the round to three mates because yes. it's only 70 bucks. Yeah, you know? of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not made of money. But yeah. you know, maybe if we, uh, this starts... Uh, I got can, three I, p- can I pitch you an idea? No, can I pitch our listeners an idea? Uh, okay, this is disgusting. I bought a three pack. No. Can I <laughs> Can I shut down an idea? <laughs> $210 right there of... Of uh, profit. That's what you're looking at. You're disgusting. Minus three dollars for the socks. I'm, lo- yeah. I'm I'm thinking a lot less of you right now. <laughs> I hope you know that. <laughs> and it's not because you're a sex worker now. It's because you're a cheap one. Yeah. I thought more of you, man. Yeah. Two hundred ten dollars. Well, okay. What about that's my that's that's my discount. But yeah. um, if you want me to, I'm not going to run in them. If you want me to run in them. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to jog. Like One forty. Sw- yeah, I could have gone for 150, but I like to get my prices like double, you know. How about this? How much for a sauna? <laughs> 210. 210. <laughs> Three times. Yeah, that's, Three times the cost. That's going to be stinky. 